out of the state of Virginia, we have a delegate and an alternate delegate who are selected to represent our state, and you are one of those people. So it, it's an honor to have you uh, from our practice. I have to shout out to Dr. Smith because he encourages growth in all of us as a team, and I think that's that's very important because we, we don't see that yeah. across across the profession. Yeah. I think thing. it goes to our mission yeah. as a family. Everybody who works here, we try to encourage them to, you know, to grow and, and, and pursue their dreams and, and to better themselves however they want to. And, uh... ABMA does help us focus on leadership within our profession as mm -hmm. well. So, you know, not only within ourselves, but also within our veterinary teams. And I think yeah. that's important. And that's an area that I've seen has really grown even in, mm -hmm. you know, even in my 10 years being a vet that, that you know, yeah. we've, we've tried to focus on it and we've tried to yeah. help the rest of our staff learn and create leadership yeah. within the team and I, I think that's very important. You know, and so. I'd like to give a shout out to you for oh, that. I mean, you. I think that you've been on that leadership team and actually worked together with other uh, people to uh, develop programs that we can take and use inside our individual practices mm -hmm. to, to do a better job of leading our teams and, and being more organized and, and communicating better. Mm -hmm. And um, i also like to toot your horn a little bit and say, you know, out of the state of Virginia, we have a delegate and an alternate delegate who are selected to represent our state, and you are one of those people. So it, it's an honor to have you uh, from our practice doing that. It's pretty cool. It's a, it's a little intimidating at first. I The reason I got involved in this is I did, um, well, when we first created our Southside BMA, somebody was like, hey, we need a delegate to go from Southside to Virginia, and I'm yeah. like, I can't do this. And then you know, I developed those relationships with the VVMA, mm -hmm. and so one of which was Dr. Casey, and then I actually did the leadership program through the ABMA, and that's kind of how I got involved with all this. And mm -hmm. it's it's really interesting, but I have to shout out to Dr. Smith because he encourages growth in all of us as a team, and I think that's that's very important because mm -hmm. we we don't see that yeah. across across the profession. Um, and you know, you go to some of the ABMA meetings, and they talk about how. 10, 15 years ago, everybody sitting in those seats were old retired guys that, that you know, that's that's who was leading our profession. And right. it's nice to have the opportunity to be one of mm -hmm. the, the younger people and the younger generation yeah. that's, you know, we're the ones that are going to be the up and coming ones, not the mm -hmm. ones that have, I mean, it's good to have both sides, I guess, at right. that point. So, so I appreciate the support and the, sure. the encouragement and kind of like, the, think, hey, you can do this, you can yeah, do this kind of thing. I think it goes to our mission so. as a family. Everybody who works here, we try to encourage them to, you know, to grow and, and, and pursue their dreams and, and to better themselves however they want to. And uh, I think this is, I think you're a great example of how um, politics is supposed to work. It's like you're actively practicing and you're in the SVMA, our little group from Martinsville to, to um, to South Boston and in Farmville and we meet together and we talk about issues mm -hmm. and she takes those issues straight to the state and then on to the federal level and then yeah. we can yeah. make decisions that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's another thing I did forget to mention, the VVMA, we do, Aaron and I, the, the delegate for Virginia, mm -hmm. the VVMA has board meetings um, four to five times throughout the year. So we yeah. go and like Dr. Smith said, we talk about issues from our region that are then pertinent to Virginia and then yeah. ultimately two times a year we go to the, the AVMA convention. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a, a ladder step there, but it, it is good to have mm -hmm. those connections and communication and don't feel like you're in your small little world in Danville that it's yeah. like it's a small profession and there's there's a lot of different opportunities within the profession, mm -hmm. but ultimately a lot of us have the same base issues and the same right. core values mm -hmm. and and that's important to know like hey this person from Iowa that's a large animal vet has the same struggles as me that's a small animal vet that's in Virginia mm -hmm. some of them are the same struggles but some of them are different mm -hmm. struggles but we're still fighting the same thing and growing in the same way right. and that's the really cool mm -hmm. thing is we have a lot of growth opportunities in the profession and, mm -hmm. and throughout our it's not just the vets either it's the veterinary team I mean Sophie's been our treasurer for right. the SBMA yeah. for, or not treasurer, the secretary for yeah, ever since we started mm -hmm. that. So it's I think that's good to have leadership opportunities, not just in the veterinarians. And I think we've encouraged that within our practice, and it's nice to see the encouragement of growth in the mm -hmm. profession as well.